Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.1.7, water from the AQA A-level biology specification. As always, let's start with a look at our specification. So water is a major component of cells. We should know the five main properties of water that are important in biology. These include the fact that water is a metabolite in many metabolic reactions, an important solvent in which metabolic reactions can occur, it has a high specific heat capacity and large latent heat of vaporization, and there is strong cohesion between water molecules, which is especially important in plants, and in creating surface tension where water meets air. So let's make a start. First of all, water is an important metabolite in many metabolic reactions. Metabolic reactions are reactions that occur within cells. Metabolites are therefore either the reactants or the products of metabolic reactions. Many metabolic reactions are either condensation or hydrolysis reactions, for example the condensation of amino acids to form polypeptides or the hydrolysis of disaccharides to monosaccharides. Next, water is an important solvent in which metabolic reactions can occur. Water is a polar molecule and can therefore interact with other charged ions or polar molecules. Many ions and molecules can dissolve in it, so it is a good solvent. All metabolites are aqueous, so cells are the perfect environment for metabolic reactions as they're water-based. Next, water has a relatively high specific heat capacity. Due to hydrogen bonding, it takes a lot of energy to change the temperature of water, so water has a high specific heat capacity. Therefore, water doesn't experience rapid changes in temperature and acts as a buffer to sudden temperature changes. Therefore, aquatic organisms can live in a thermally stable environment and their enzymes can stay at optimum temperature. It also means that terrestrial organisms can resist temperature fluctuations and maintain a constant body temperature. Water also has a large latent heat of vaporization. It takes a lot of energy to break hydrogen bonds and change liquid water into a gas, i.e. it takes a lot of energy for water to evaporate. This makes water an excellent coolant in organisms that perspire without losing too much water. Finally, we have cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is when water forms hydrogen bonds with itself, and adhesion is when water forms hydrogen bonds with other materials. Due to hydrogen bonding, water is very cohesive. Cohesion allows water to flow, aiding the transpiration stream in plants, where water pulls more water through the xylem as it moves as a continuous column. This is great for transporting substances. Cohesion also means that water creates surface tension when in contact with air. This means that sweat forms droplets, which can then evaporate to cool an organism down. Surface tension also allows insects such as pond skaters to move on the surface of water, which provides a good habitat for such insects. Great, that would be this part of the specification covered. We have covered the five main properties of water that are important in biology. That would be it for now guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, next time we will be covering inorganic ions.